When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, October the 1st. Yep, we've reached October. Wow, 2017's just flying by. All right, we've got a good deal of weather to talk about here. There's a look at our satellite image this morning, and most of the state is uh, clear. We do have a few clouds, uh, especially across the Mobile Bay area and then in parts of uh, west central Alabama. But for the most part, a beautiful morning across the state. High pressure over New York and Pennsylvania is producing what we call the wedge as uh, the uh, cold air dams against the Appalachians and comes down across uh, north Georgia and north Alabama. And we'll, we'll show that in the temperatures in just a moment. In the upper atmosphere, we have a ridge extending from Alabama all the way down into northern Mexico. There's a look at the temperatures, and you can see that uh, it's 58 along the uh, Alabama-Georgia line, but it's 66 over at Tuscaloosa, so pretty good uh, range in temperatures there. And you can see the easterly flow that is the wedge coming around the end of the uh, Appalachians. The watch warning map is uh, getting a little bit busier. We have some air quality issues in Texas. Out there over the, Appalach uh, over the Rockies, we have uh, a good deal of winter weather uh, advisories and uh, watches. Then we have some uh, high fire danger in California. And then those uh, blues are frost and freeze advisories for parts of uh, the Great Lakes over into New England. The QPF is uh, suggesting through Friday morning that we're not going to see much in the way of rain. And I, th I think they're right. Uh, I don't think we see any rain, uh, but we do have some chances on Monday. We'll get to that in a moment. Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk over the central and southwest part of Nebraska for day one today. For day two, Monday, uh, there's a marginal risk from central Nebraska all the way up into uh, the western Great Lakes at the end of Lake Superior, encompassing parts of Wisconsin and Minnesota. And then for day three, uh, we don't have any marginal or severe areas. Tropics are a little quieter. We had four systems yesterday. We only have two systems today. One over the Florida Peninsula and one uh, between Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. According to the National Hurricane Center, they're not expecting either of those areas to develop over the next five days. However, it does look like the one that's uh, just to the west of Puerto Rico could potentially reach uh, the Gulf of Mexico by the end of the week. And that's going to contribute to some real model madness. All right. We can see the wedge taking effect here by looking at precipitable water values on the 06 z GFS model run this morning. And you can see that uh, moisture gradient from uh, west to east across the state. At the surface, of course, we are getting that little pressure pattern where you see that little nose coming across uh, Georgia. Yesterday, uh, the GFS was suggesting that the high over New York and Pennsylvania wouldn't be quite as strong as it appears to be uh, this morning. By Monday in the upper atmosphere, we do have a nice ridge over the eastern part of the country and a deep trough over the western part of the country. And uh, along the Gulf Coast, we have this little bit of a, a weak disturbance, uh, call it an inverted trough, whatever you'd like to call it there. It's going to be responsible for some showers along the Gulf Coast. And uh, I think we'll have to include uh, small chances. You can see that the moisture does surge upward just a little bit. Uh, uh, northward across Alabama. So I think we're going to put you know, small chances like maybe 20% in central or north Alabama, but the best chance is going to be in south uh, Alabama and along the Gulf Coast. That system moves on and it's hardly even noticeable in the upper air chart, uh, but you see the big ridge over the southeastern U.S. We can see the uh, disturbed weather over the, the uh, southeast Texas coast on uh, uh, Tuesday, so it looks like it's going to mosey on and be away from us. The ridge stays in place on Wednesday and again on Thursday, so not much change. On Thursday, though, we do have a front that's going to be approaching the area, as you see from the surface chart. Um, and uh, the GFS is now getting rather bullish on the system in the Gulf of Mexico. This is, uh, I think, the uh, area that's over or just to the west of Puerto Rico this morning. 
and that uh, the GFS is being rather bullish on developing something. Not sure that that's the correct solution at this moment. Now, by Friday, the upper air chart, the GFS has really moved this thing across the Gulf uh, pretty quickly. You can see the upper air reflection there just off uh, the coast of uh, Brownsville. At the surface, the GFS certainly has what could be a Category 1, maybe even a Category 2 hurricane over the uh, western Gulf. Now, I'm not putting a lot of faith in that, and you'll see in a moment when we get out to Saturday, you can see the GFS brings that upper air reflection of that system into the uh, uh, south Texas in the vicinity of Brownsville, and indeed, that, that's what the surface pattern does. But here's the European. The European brings that system a little further south than the GFS does, develops it in the southwest Gulf, and then takes it back to the northeast. Uh, this is uh, heading towards South Florida, and then when we get out to Sunday, you can see the GFS suggesting that it's going to be uh, dying out over South Texas, um, and the uh, surface map from the GFS suggesting that, uh, and suggesting a good surge of moisture our way, so that would spell some wet weather for us, but that system in the Gulf, the European, takes it up into the vicinity of Tampa Bay area and Central Florida. So, model madness. The bottom line is here, uh, from Friday through the weekend, just make up a forecast. I mean, just about anything's possible with all these solutions. All right, going out into voodoo country, there's uh, another trough forecast by the GFS uh, around the 10th of October that should spell a pretty nice front coming across the central part of the United States and into the southeastern U.S. But by the 13th of October, we're back under a nice ridge, so that's some warm but dry days for middle October. And then we have another one, another trough, forecast to dig in across the Mississippi River Valley on the 15th. So no rest for the weary as October is usually a tranquil month, but it doesn't look like it will be this year. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. James Spence should be back in the saddle with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, you can catch the latest forecast on ABC 3340 News at 5 and 10. I'll be filling in for Charles Daniel. Hope that you have a great day. And Godspeed. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant energy efficient systems come with a five-year labor warranty, and our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.